Hi everyone, it's Ani with Chica's Kitchen and today I have a banana bread recipe. Okay, and this is what you're going to need. You're going to need one and one third cup of flour, bread flour. A teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of yeast I use the active dry you can use instant about a third cup of milk I'm using almond milk okay two tablespoons of powdered milk of course one soft banana <laughs> one egg and four tablespoons of butter or half a stick and this you will have to chop up you'll add this at the end once you get the original dough ball going okay so we're going to go ahead and get started I'm going to set you up right here and we're going to get to start mixing these ingredients together okay Get whatever dust I may have on here. I have to find my lid to this. All right, got all the dust off. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the milk, one third cup. And my yeast, which is half a teaspoon, that's half a teaspoon, okay, put that in there. Going, excuse me, just for a minute. Let me reach over and get my whisk. Whisk that in there. Then I'm going to ooh, smell that yeast. I'm going to throw that egg in there. Whisk that up. The salt goes, that's going to go in with the flour. After I put the flour in. Must have got my sweat somehow. One and one third cup. Okay, I'm going to put the teaspoon of salt over the flour. Oh, it doesn't fit. Okay. There's that.
then two tablespoons of milk powder. This is my milk powder. That's one. And there's two. Then we're going to mash the banana. So I'm going to mash it with my masha. And push this back for now. See if you all can see. Pretty mushy, isn't it? <laughs> might not need much mashing for the mashing. I might just be able to get away with uh, using uh, the whisk itself. I'll try this. Oh, yeah. See, I didn't have to dirty a kitchen tool after all. Isn't that great? That is real good. Go ahead and throw that in there. I'll bring it forward in just a sec. All that goodness in there. Okay. Let's bring my oh. Okay. I'm going to chop up my butter. Okay, I'm going to chop it up into small pieces than usual so it'll blend in quicker and better. I'm trying to get this done because I have a, the alarm guys coming over. For some reason, it's they're not getting a signal, so they want to come out and look at it. think when they do that it's because they want to send a representative trying to sell you something up extra you know so I 
be on your toes. Okay, let's get started here. So we're going to go ahead and use, we've got all our ingredients in. So that's one and one third cup of bread flour, two tablespoons of milk powder, one teaspoon of salt, one mashed banana, one whole egg, and a third cup of milk half a teaspoon of yeast. Those are your all your ingredients and then your butter, which is half a bar, four tablespoons, diced up, which you will add in after you form your dough ball. Okay? So, oh, you know what else I wanted to add? Uh-oh, almost forgot. That's some banana extract. Yeah. So I'm going to add me some of this. A teaspoon. Get some of that. banana flavor huh I'm pouring more on the counter than I am in the Oof. I tell you why you can really <laughs> McCormick you could really smell that vodka in these extracts mm -hmm. that's some strong stuff it reminds me, I still have to, uh, I got to order some vanilla beans and have my husband buy some vodka so I can show you guys how to make some extract. Your own vanilla extract. Okay. And why vanilla beans? That's the most commonly used extract, but that's the beans, the vanilla beans. It's like it just keeps giving. And you can have, out of the amount of vanilla beans in this one recipe, you can make extract for 25 years with just that. that that's how great these vanilla beans give off flavor. Okay, so it's not really that costy. Or costly. I said costy. <laughs> Woo-wee! All right. Have another one. Okay. Here we go. Almond. Mix it away. Well, I haven't used my stand mixer <laughs> in a while. It's probably feeling like a step child. Okay, we started off with one. Let me get a staff so early. Get that stuff from my side, around the sides of the wall, like right now. And now we're going to go to speed number two. And that's what we're going to leave it on. And we're out. Okay. Oh, Lord. You know what? I think I'm going to add... a bit of honey only because there's really no sugar in this which is good a 
tablespoon of honey. I should have sprayed the spoon, huh? One thing you've been thinking. Always spray whatever you're gonna pour your honey into. Always spray some uh, butter flavor spray on it so that the honey will come out better, easier, quicker. Like what I'm going to do right now with this. To help me get this honey out. See, I sprayed the little guy, and it's helping me get this honey. All right, good enough. Ooh, honey on my fingers. All right, so Got a little sugar in there, so that makes me feel a little better. <laughs> Not terrible. Okay, now I'm gonna put it on the tube. And get a little dog ball going. I'll bring you back once this is done. It's almost there, though. Okay, I went ahead and added in all the butter to my little dough ball. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in. Give it for about five minutes. Until the sides come away clear. I'll bring it back. Now, when you first put the butter in, it's going to fall apart first before it comes together. That's just something that the flour does. So it'll fall right back apart, but then it'll come right back together. You see it? It's pulling now, and it's pulling away from the side. It'll come right back together into a dough ball. I, I'll bring it back as soon as it gets there. Okay, this is about ready. See, it's pulled away from the sides. And it seems to be a really good consistency. Yeah, this is about ready to pull this. part huh that's from the top always gets loose when I have when I turn the KitchenAid on for five minutes so I'm gonna leave it off all right this is done this is a good dough consistency it's tacky, but doesn't stick to my hands. See? So that's what you want. And... I didn't get this dough out of here. Dough hook out. Bring you guys in over here. 
Now, I got to play with this kickstand here because for some reason it's not wanting to work for me. There we go. Let's put this out of the way. This is really a sticky, tacky do. Real pretty, real pretty dough in that. See that? Real pretty dough. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put some flour in here instead of oil because. It's a sweet bread, and it is a little tacky, so I found that it is best to use a little bit of flour instead of oil, just a little, when you're ready to set your dough ball to rise. So, there's my dough ball. I'm going to go ahead and cover it up with my tea cloth and let it rest for an hour. So, timer one hour. And I'll bring you back. Hey guys. Okay, so I had the uh, ADT guy come and interrupt. <laughs> well, he didn't really interrupt. There was an appointment already planned, I told you at the beginning of the video. So I had to delay this anyway. <sighs> it's been more than an hour. I got this out of the, the stand mixer bowl. And I'm doing a little rectangle, getting on all the little bubbles, air bubble, gas bubbles, I should say, out. Feel with my fingers. Pinch them away. Okay. Then I'm going to roll this up. Okay, come on now, and I'm going to pinch this together and roll pinch 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 A little prego. Okay. Now. <laughs> Who am I? Now we're gonna. Just 
lifestyle. We're gonna scoop it up, put it in the pan. I like to curve it, but you know, it'll do its own thing. But I usually curve. Look. <laughs> anyway. Kind of like a croissant shape. That's how I like to put it in here. Don't have to. You can put it straight up. It's just something I like to do. Okay. Then we're just going to spray. Or butter, which I'm using butter flavor. Spray it anyway. You can let it rest for 15 minutes. I got the oven set for 350. Let me show you. Okay. So in 15 minutes, I will be back and we'll put this in the oven. Okay, guys. Let me show you what I got. I put it in the oven without turning you guys back on. Here's our bread. In the oven 350 timer set for for 25 minutes. Alright, so there it is. I will bring you back. Okay guys, the timer went off, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this puppy out of here. Let me get my rack. There she is. Isn't that beautiful? How I baked up so pretty. I may want to leave this on another five minutes. I don't know. Let's see. Well, she's thumping. So. I think I'm going to leave her another test. How's that? Only because... She seems to be a little doughy yet. Just, you know, on the sides. Just a little doughy. I mean, she's got good color. Probably can't tell from the lighting. She's got good color. But I want it just a little bit darker. So, another 10 minutes, I'd say. 10, 15. I'll bring you back. But isn't that a beauty? And then what you do when you take it out and it cools down, you just pull. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay, put this back in here. Oven's ready. Okay, so timer. I'm going to do 15. All right, bring you guys back. Okay. He had a long-term military career. He was a helicopter pilot instructor. He appeared to be a family man and just did what people do in their households. Well, you're flying to Yates. Ah, now this is much better. Don't you agree? Oh yeah, that's much better. Yep. Let's take a look. 
See that? Isn't that pretty? It's like a huge croissant. Banana flavored croissant. And then just butter it up. So it'll stay nice and soft. And moist. Now, of course, I'm going to have to tear into this before it cools down. <laughs> I'm sure. Right. You going to want a piece of banana bread? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> okay. That was a silly question. Well, you just had dinner, so I don't know if you had room for it. You want a little bit of uh, vanilla ice cream on top with scoop? Sure. This will be your dessert. Sure. That means you can't go back later. I'm planning on going to bed in an hour or two. All right. So with that being buttered, this is really, really good with coffee, guys. I mean, you could even cut these apart and make uh, French toast out of it. I'm always thinking of silly things. But anyway. There you have it. That is my, I don't know what to call it, banana loaf? Banana croissant loaf? Yeah, that's a good name. Looks like a slinky, doesn't it? <laughs> banana slinky dough. <laughs> that's crazy. All right. So, let's go ahead and... If I can't, because it's so hot. I don't want ice cream. I'm sure does. So, let's take a look. At this. Okay, so I'm going to pull. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this fluffiness. You guys got to see this. Look. Woo there you go. Banana loaf bread. See that? And you just pull them apart. This one got kind of sealed up, but it's for Hubster. There you go. Oof. Hot, hot, hot. And there you have it, folks. Banana loaf. I should say banana, banana what? Banana loaf croissant? But yeah, something like that. I don't know yet. I'll figure out a name for it. But go ahead and make you some. Enjoy until the next recipe. God bless. Take care of yourselves and one another. Bye. Just had to show you this. There's Hubster's. With vanilla ice cream and chocolate syrup. <laughs>